Morning farmers. Well, I just kind of wanted to show you some of the stuff that I'm putting in for uh, perennials this year. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm kind of excited this year because finally, you know, we've been putting in trees and bushes, but you know, here we are, and we this year we get to do this. So let's start over here. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna do the uh, summer vegetables. But I am going to show you these uh, herbs and spices and medicinal uh, perennials. Perennials, most of these are perennials or they, or they reseed themselves. So uh, that's whorehound. That's, you know, I don't know if you young people, if you're out there. Uh, they used to, whorehound candy used to be pretty... Uh, common but it's kind of rare now and it's really good for your throat and it's very soothing uh, this is red lamb's quarter to go with the green lamb's quarter i harvested seeds that i harvested last year i'm just going to throw them straight out these i'm going to start inside they're just wild spinach basically um here's some valerian for valerian root perennial feverfew i'm pretty sure is a perennial but it might be just a reseeder arugula cilantro, rosemary, elephant dill. Now these two, arugula and cilantro, are perennial. The rosemary is not, but I'll use, I will let some of it go, you know, I'll collect seed. Elephant dill reseeds itself. Now this is interesting, strawberry spinach. It's just a spinach green. It's not, I don't think it's actually spinach, but it's a spinach green that, uh, Grows little strawberry looking things on them. Safflower, I'm using as a spice. Now here's something interesting. See it says perennial. This is salad burnet. And it's an old timey vegetable. And it uh, is real short lived in the spring. It comes back every spring. But it's really super short lived. So my cousin sent me these seeds off of her farm. Now, her husband's uh, family has owned this farm for about 120, 150 years, something like that. And uh, his great-granddad planted a quince tree. Well, that tree has grown. It's still alive. And it's still producing fruit. And it's enormous. Now, uh... The reason why I'm so excited about this is not just that it, it has some family history for me, but because uh, the fruit coming from these, from that quince of theirs, is uh, brown, dark brown, and I've never heard of a quince being anything but yellow or green. Another oddity about it is. Uh, the tree itself, I mean, it's super old, you know, 120 years or so, and it uh, is enormous, which, you know, is another real oddity about a quince, because quinces get, you know, 15, 20 feet. This thing is between 40 and 60 feet tall. So that's it's really uh, quite unusual, and it's really... Uh, amazing. So this might be some kind of undiscovered quince species that has been hidden back in the hollers. So that would be pretty, pretty cool. So I wanted to especially point this out to you. 